this iPayout tutorial, we're going to show you how easy it is to set up your iPayout account. The setup process begins when you receive an email from us that looks something like this. Now the color or the branding may be different depending on who you represent, but the basic information you need to have is shown here. A link that you will click to activate your account, and a username assigned to you plus a password that has been assigned to you. You need to take a moment and write that information down because you'll be using it in a moment to activate your account. So click on the link and that will bring you to this page that says congratulations your account has been successfully activated. Now click continue. In this screen you're going to use the login credentials you were just given to log into your account. Username and now the password and click Login. And that will bring you to this page, which is the eWallet Setup page. Take a moment and read the information in the green box. Essentially what you're doing here is creating a new account within iPayout. It's important that the information that you confirm or add is absolutely accurate and reflected on your legal documents like a passport, a driver's license, etc. So now just go field by field and by the way, some of this information may be auto-populated depending on which company you represent and how much information we already received from them. But whether we have it or not, go through field by field, put in your first name, your last name, your address, the city you live in, zip code, your home phone, your cell phone, an accurate, verifiable email address. Use this drop-down menu to choose the country you live in, Use this drop-down to find your state, add your birthday, and then select the language that you would like to have the communications, the emails back and forth from us to you, sent to you in. Select your country of citizenship. Now in this field, include your accurate social security number. In the next box, step three, simply check this box that says I verified that all the information shown is correct. Check this box to agree to the terms and conditions. If at this point you'd like to look at the fee schedule or how much each transaction will cost, you're free to click this button and do so. Now moving on to step four, you're going to select your own personal transaction pin. This is numbers only, no letters. It's four to ten digits and they can't be sequential. You're going to need this pin every time you do a transaction within iPayout or even edit your account. When you have that pin in mind, Type it in the top box, and then again in the bottom box. And then we move down to the last field, which is to answer three security questions. It uh, gives you a drop-down menu to choose from a variety of questions. Find one that you're comfortable with answering. For example, what's the name of your first pet? Gidget. What is your mother's maiden name? Williams. And for the third one, I'll look for a different question from the drop-down menu, like, what's the name of your first school? Serrano. Again, it's very important that you select security questions that you will remember the answer to, because you may be prompted at any time to answer one or more of those questions just to log into your iPad account. So now you simply come down here to continue and click it. And that will bring you to your brand new iPayout back office. That's how simple it is to set up your new account. Welcome to iPayout.